Hello everyone, Mike Rempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Today we're going to take a look at two of the newer functions that Excel has come out with, the take and the drop functions. These are only available in Microsoft 365, so let's see how these work in Excel. So as you can see here, the take and the drop functions are structured very similarly. The syntax of each is either take or drop, and you have the array, the number of rows, and the number of columns. So the array is the area that you're working with. Rows is how many rows you want to take or drop. And columns is how many columns you want to take or drop. And if you enter a negative number, it's going to take or drop them from the end of the array rather from the beginning. So it'll either be from the bottom if you're talking about rows or from the right if you're talking about columns. And again, what these two functions do is take your array and either just pull from that, in the case of the take function, the number of rows or columns you specify, or in the case of the drop functions, it's going to remove the number of rows or columns that you specify. So let's take a look at some examples. First, let's look at the take function. So if I want to just see the top five rows of my data here, I'll say equals take and I'll highlight my array, comma. If I want the top five rows, I'll just type a five, close my parentheses, hit enter, and you can see I get the header and the first four rows. If I wanted to have it be the last five rows of this data, I would make it a negative five, hit enter, and it's pulling the last five rows, and if I go down to the bottom, you can see the last five rows are U.S., Canada, Canada, U.S., and Mexico, which is what I have here. So that's perfect. If I wanted to, for example, just pull the first two columns, what I would do is add another parenthesis, skip over the rows, put a two for columns, hit enter, and I get the first two columns. If I wanted the last two columns, I would just put a minus sign in front of the two, hit enter, and I get the units and dollars column. So that's how the take function works. So let's take a look at the drop function. I have 214 rows of data. So if I only want to see, say, the last 10, I would say equals drop, and my array, again, is this range here, comma, and I want to drop 204, rows, hit enter, and now I only get the last 10 of the range. If I wanted to instead drop the bottom 204 and only keep the top 10, I put a minus sign here and I'm only keeping the top 10 and dropped the bottom 204. Same thing would be the case with columns. If I wanted to drop the first column, I would put comma one hit enter and now notice the country column is dropped and all the rest are there if i change this to a minus one notice that it dropped the dollars from the end and kept the other columns there so that's how the take and drop functions work now one thing you need to be aware of is how this reacts with tables so I'm just going to give you a simple example here. If I wanted to take the top five rows here, I would say equals take. And in this case, my table name is sales. So I'm going to use sales here, comma, five, and I hit enter. Notice it takes the top five rows of data, but does not take the headers. If I wanted to include the headers, I can incorporate this with the vstack function, and I would say equals vstack, and my first array would be the headers, comma, then the second array would be what I had with the take function, close my parentheses, and now I have the headers plus the first five rows of data. Now the other issue would be with the drop function. So if I said equals drop and my array again is my sales table comma 
And let's say I want to drop the last column. I'm going to put a minus 1 there, close my parentheses, hit enter, and notice I get the country through the units columns, but again without the headers. Now, if I wanted to stack on top of this the headers, I would take the vstack function, include the array from country to units, comma, have the drop function be my second array, close that parentheses, hit enter, and I would get the headers stacked on top of the data without that column. And that's how this works in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bice.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy excelling.